this section is about going downhill. Instead of trying to just get friction and, and grip as you're going uphill, you're trying to throw away that energy. If you can't go straight down, which is often the case, you'll have to have some kind of techniques to get down the hill. And they're somewhat reverse of just going the uphill. So one of them is to step sidestep. Again, if I assume that the steepness of the hill is towards the camera, I'd want to step down. I'd plant that left right pole. Let's say I'm going to go down to the right. Plant that right pole. Take a step down. Move my weight all the way over to the right ski. Bring my left ski back. Equal the weight out. Bring the left pole. And repeat that. Again, this is one of the surest ways to get down without any broken bones. And it'll always work, but it's very slow. So the second way is to traverse, just like we did when we go up. We're going up. We want to pick a down slope, but make that slope a lot um, less steep so we can control our speed. So we can just traverse down, take that 180 degree step, go back, reverse that slope, and just cut, cut back and forth. Now the third one we get into a little bit more advanced technique. And it's uh, often called the wet ski or the, the uh, snow plow. And uh, again, you, it's going to be spreading your skis out in a wedge. But in this time, instead of having the tails together, you have the tips together. So what you'll do is start going downhill and you'll, you'll uh, bend your knees to the degree that the ski edges will come up. Hopefully you can see that in the video. I'll get out here. Like that. And there's a whole technique around this, but this is the basics. So more bite in the hill you want to get, the more you bring your knees in. I'll show you that front one. So you're going to form that uh, wedge. Now if you had them flat, you'd be sliding. So you want to bring those knees in. You bring it in, you squat a little bit. And that way you get a lot more cut in here. And this is good on fairly uniform slopes. If we have almost all packed trail that we're traveling on, we can control our speed pretty well. Or if it's uniformly powder, we can control on. Have a mix, you can have a problem. And there's other ways, but not going to be covered in this course. Now the other thing about this is how do you turn this? Because a lot of times the trails aren't straight. Well, you bring your knees in, put your weight on one ski, it's going to bite into the slope a lot more the more weight you have on. In this case, I'm leaning to the right. That's going to bite into that slope a little more, that side, and it's going to drag me off to the right. Same thing with the left. Bring that, that weight over to the left side and it'll take you to the left. It's counterintuitive because if we want to just go to the right, we want to lean to the right, like on a bicycle. But we've got to lean to the outside of the curve. 